Since 2004, the Delaware Department of Transportation has used red light safety cameras at dangerous intersections to help change driver behavior and reduce the number of red light runners. One of the things that I like to do is make data-driven decisions, right? Uh, I think that, that uh, you know, that's, that's where you always find yourself on comfortable ground is to say, what does the data show us? And the data has shown that uh, the red light cameras have helped us reduce uh, crashes, fatalities, and injuries at our intersections that they're being used at. Red light safety cameras are used in Newcastle County, Kent, and Sussex County, including the cities of Newark, Dover, Seaford, and Town of Ellesmere. Red light safety camera locations met program eligibility requirements for having historically high incidences of red light running related crashes. Other factors include whether the physical design of the intersection allows for installation of red light safety camera equipment and the efficacy of capturing images it approaches. When we're deciding where we put new red light running cameras, uh, we have a very detailed prioritization process where we look at uh, all, the in, all the traffic signals in the state and, uh, and look at the, the locations that have the worst red light running crashes. Are there signs, striping, uh, other traffic signal modifications that could or should be done uh, before we get to uh, a, a more of an enforcement tool? So uh, in some respects, it is kind of the, the, the last resort of, of putting in um, the, the, the automatic cameras, um, and we want to do everything else we can first before we get to that, that step. Red light safety cameras operate 24 hours a day, seven days a week. When a driver enters the intersection after the light has turned red, the camera captures two still images and a 12-second video of the event. The still images and video are then securely and wirelessly transferred for an initial review. During this review, the image and video are checked for quality and the registered owner of the vehicle is identified. If reviewers determine that a violation occurred, the images and video are forwarded to the local issuing authority where they are again reviewed by law enforcement officials. Local law enforcement officials determine whether or not a notice of violation is issued or the event is rejected. If the event is approved, the vehicle owner will receive a notice of violation in the mail with a secure PIN and violation number that will allow them to view the images and video online. The vehicle owner will then have the option of disputing the violation, transferring the liability, or paying the fine either online, over the phone, or by mail. The fee for running a red light is $112.50. If you get in a car accident because you're speeding or rushing or not driving in a safe manner, you know, that can change your entire perspective, that can change your entire life. And so having that perspective to say that it might be an extra minute, it might be an extra two minutes, but at the end of the day, if you arrive at your destination safely, you can't put a price on that. DelDot's statewide electronic red light safety program has resulted in significant reductions in crashes, specifically angle and red light running crashes, which are typically the most severe types of crashes. Dangerous angle crashes have fallen by 47%, and red light running collisions at the intersections have fallen by 29%. As demonstrated by the significant reduction in angle and red light running crashes, the safety benefit continue to be realized by the traveling public. From 2011 to 2012, the number of violations issued decreased by more than 20% from 48,503 to 37,922. We have a, a higher than national average of intersection type crashes in the state and the, the crashes that you see at, at signalized intersections in particular are, it's not just that there's a crash, it's usually a particularly severe crash, uh, particularly when it's an angle crash uh, related to red light running, it's a, it's a T-bone, and they often result in injuries and, and fatalities. You know, if we can prevent even one crash, one fatality, one injury, there are just huge savings available. Deldot reminds you to stop on red. The life you save could be your own.